Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to it if you're new. And welcome to Fredbear and Friends Reboot. A Five Nights at Freddy's free roam fan game based off of, well, Fredbear and Friends. <laughs> in today's video we're going to be jumping in and seeing what this has in store. So without much further ado, and to not waste too much time, let's just go ahead and jump right into single player, shall we? Now, I, I've honestly forgot about some of the stuff in this game, so kind of forgive me if, like, I get a little confused at parts. Huh? Ooh. Who's calling so late? I, I can't see the name. Pick it up. <laughs> oh, it's Chris. Chris Deltarul? Confirmed in FNAF. Hey, hey, Tom. Dude, do you know what time it is? You woke me up. Oh, it is the perfect time to visit my place. What do you mean by your place? Do you remember the old restaurant I told you about? Oh, Chris, please don't tell me we're going there. Oh, what is it? Did you become a chicken now? What? No, I mean... Chicken! Ugh. Oh, come on, man. It's gonna be great, I tell ya. Right, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be out of my bed right now. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> Can't say no to a friend, I guess. Well, <laughs> technically you could, but still. Alright, 30 minutes later. We almost there, or? I mean, I'm guessing we would be almost to the location. <laughs> After this long, but still. Why would we be going there anyway? The place is nothing but ruins. It's been abandoned for like 20 years or something. I can't think of anywhere worse to hang out than there. I got a few. <laughs> I got a few places that might be worse. But then again, considering what happens, I don't know. <laughs> you might be right in that regard. Yeah. Who designed that door? Well, look who arrived. Yeah, hey guys. So, what exactly are we doing in an abandoned 20-year-old restaurant? Great question. Oh, trust me. You're gonna like this. So, what's the plan then? This place is huge! I say we split up and explore different parts of the building. Aw, mm -hmm. uh, that's how you this die in horror really movies. Dark. Maybe try to get the power back up? And how am I supposed to do that? There should probably be a switch in the employee's room or something. Okay, right. Me and Ashley are gonna check out the party rooms and see what's behind the curtains. Got it. And you, Tom, you should check out the office. Surely lots of interesting stuff in there. Right. All right, boys and girls, let's go. And <laughs> I don't know if y'all were able to hear me over. Or I apologize for All interrupting. Right, the office. Let's go. But yeah, I... Jesus, the smell in here is horrible. Well, what was I expecting at a 20-year-old restaurant? Okay, that's the entrance, right? <laughs> God, this feels so much like a uh, horror movie. Everybody's just splitting up and whatnot, doing their own things. That's how we just... Feels like a Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> Honestly. Just... Splitting up and... Doing whatever. Who are you? I'm guessing you're Chris. No. Um, I'm kind of exploring. What's in here? Oh, hi. That's quite... disturbing. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again, I suppose. Alright, so this is the secondary party room, I guess? This room's quite small. Um, looks like Pirate's Cove, <laughs> honestly. Um, alright, let's go ahead and find the office, I suppose. Alright, this should be the office. Can't do much without power, though. Pretty messy in here. I found the switch, guys. Took you long enough, Rick. Power oh, Rick! That's the name? And we got power. Your crosshair turns red when you hover onto an interactable object. Okay, let's see. Wait, this door still works? That's cool. <laughs> it really... Right, I'm done here. Wait, what? Time to regroup with the others, I guess. 
I didn't even like fully look around though. Ah. Uh, okay, let's listen to this great tape. Food, cold drinks, fun games. Fredbear and Friends is a great place, except for one thing. The main stars, the animatronics. Those things are just creepy. Look at Freddy. He just twists his body around, his jaw moving up and down mindlessly. They just look lifeless. Foxy's just dangerous. He almost took my friend's head off the other day. But I do love Spring Freddy. He doesn't really look creepy, and he's probably the most kid-friendly thing here. Hopefully the old Spring Bonnie comes back as well. Huh. Interesting. I didn't even realize there was tapes in here. Hmm. It's a monitor. Doesn't seem to work, though. I mean, I did see the tape, but <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work, so there's that. All right. First, let's talk to Chris, shall we? Oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. That feels like a classic trope in a way. All right. I found it. How is it? Not much. Broken monitor, doors, usual stuff. Did you look around for some papers? Uh, no, not really. Why would I? There's some really sketchy stuff going on around here. I want to learn a bit more about this place. What do you mean by sketchy? He wouldn't believe it anyway. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna go and explore a bit more, I guess. Alrighty. So... Okay. Let's actually go look over here properly. So, okay, this is the, I'm guessing, main party area. Hey, Tom. Hey, <laughs> what's up? A lot of memories of this place. I remember being here as a kid. I like how she said a lot of fond memories here, and then it just immediately did, <laughs> like, a shrieking hey, thing. you need help with anything? I do not. As long as you got the power up, that is fine. Uh, so, employees only. Restrooms, alright. <laughs> Quite basic for the location. It's not that big, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, hi. Fred Baron friends? Eh, it's an alright place to work. The place is kinda, well, overcrowded most of the time. Customers can never get to the arcade machines. Mostly because of this one guy who's always screaming, You're messing with the wrong Sabali! <laughs> All you want is Foxy plushy. Like, Jesus, dude. You're not the only guy in the place. And the kids are always so annoying, no matter what. I had a box of pizza for a customer, nice dude in some cut-off jeans, and they came over and knocked me down with it. I got so pissed off. And I couldn't do anything. I swear they'll get something coming to them soon. But hey, the pay's good, so I can't really complain. At least I get a free viewing of the show. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Alright, uh, papers, papers. Oh, wait. Mark, there have been some reports of a disturbing and possibly armed man. He has long hair, is hunching over, dressed in a purple shirt, blue cut jeans, and a baseball cap. If you see this man, call the police immediately. He's dangerous and is scaring our customers off. Alright. Um, let's see, what are you? Electronic safety up at night. Weird. Well, yeah. Chris is probably gonna like this. Hey Mark, the animatronics were acting up the other night. Can you check on them? For the past few days, we've been getting complaints about them acting very strangely, especially towards adults. I don't think the newer models are ready to perform yet. I'd rather have the older ones on stage for some time, at least until the problem is solved. Be sure to check on Spring Freddy, as, he is ha as he's been having the most issues. After a short amount of time of performing, he became unresponsive and started moving on his own. Sincerely, Jack Bennett. All right. That's enough for Chris. I suppose it is. Alright, Chrissy boy. I got some <laughs> documents for you. Wait. Hey, Chris! I... Chris? I uh, found what you were asking for. He's gone. 
There's another tape Hello? right there. Maybe I should ask the others. Okay, they Richard? all. Ashley, where the hell are you guys? This isn't funny, guys. Like at all. Um. Hey, what's that? Sound like somebody. What the fuck? Was that Richard? I need to get the hell out of here now. And, uh, oh god. <laughs> okay. Things are getting real. Uh, do I go to the office? Okay. Hi. Freddy. Freddy's here. <laughs> um. Probably should not get too close to him. Guess we're gonna go the long way around here. Hello, anybody down here? Oh, not. Okay. Felt like we're missing something. Let me actually try to escape real quick. All right, <laughs> quick to the office. Oh. Hey, who's there? Where did you come from? Answer me. Tom. Is that you, Chris? Oh my God, Chris! Thank God you're. What the fuck? Oh. Holy. Chris, no! I gotta get to the office fast. All right, let's <laughs> go. Go. Wait, can I pick up his flashlight? Do with it, <laughs> like. Well, not like Beyblades, but you know what I mean. Alright. Guess we're going back this way, then. Freddy, are you still there? Oh, not. Okay, Freddy is gone. Yes? Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, God, hi. Uh, okay, I can't shut this door, right? Oh, God. Uh, hide. Hide. <laughs> Get under the table. Okay. Oh, we got under here in perfect time, didn't we? Okay. Thank God it's gone. Take a seat. Have a breather. This is not real. It can't be. It can't be real. It can't be real. Rick, Chris, they're both dead. Oh God, what about Ashley? Where's Ashley? I gotta, I gotta stay here at least for a while. Call the cops. <laughs> call, call somebody to help. Or... What? Oh. Who the hell is calling? I, I do not know. <laughs> I probably should pick it up just in case. Might be important. Hello? Whoever this is, please send help. Please send help. We're at the Fred Baird Friends. If you want to survive, listen very closely. Who the hell is this? What the fuck is going on? I don't know how much you care and why you're here, but if you're willing to live, pay attention. Okay, 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 okay. I'm listening. I prefer to keep my identity hidden, but I'm a former employee of Fred Bear and Friends. And well, I'm an animatronic specialist. <laughs> I helped in designing them. Well, great fucking designing. All my friends are dead because of those. Now, there's no time to explain the cause of the behavior of the animatronics, but uh, I will explain how to survive against them. Oh my god, this is insane. There are eight different animatronics in the restaurant. Each of them acts differently. H hold up, you're telling me there's eight of these things in the building? Spring Bonnie, Golden Rabbit animatronic. He roams the place and he will chase anyone, anything he sees, and he won't stop. You can fend him off by closing the door on him, and it will make him walk away for a couple of seconds, at least it should. Uh, Chick of the Chicken in the second stage works the same way, due to them having the same endoskeleton type. This is crazy! This is insane! Uh, Freddy Foxy and uh, the thing in the vents will try to block you away and help the other two get you. Freddy will very obviously appear in a hallway and will not allow you. Don't get close. That's all you have to do. Foxy 
she will hide around corners and will quietly wait for you to pass by, so make sure to listen for any breathing noises before deciding to move forward. And then we have uh, whatever that thing is. Basically, it will hide in the ventilation shafts and will try to drag you in and tear you apart. Just pay attention to any vents. The only way you can tell if it's there is by its wires that will stick out if it's present in that particular vent. The last remaining three animatronics work together as one. Now, listen up closely. Bonnie, the purple rabbit, will get up every once in a while and try to find its way to the power room. When he gets there, he will attempt to turn on the switch for the puppet, which is attached to the ceiling by strings. You can uh, see these tracks across the building. When activated, the slowly by the tracks of the ceiling to try and get to the safe room. But the most dangerous one of them all is located Fred Bear. He always knows where you are. He's fast and intelligent. Closing down a door on him won't help. He'll just uh, break it down like he did before. What? What the hell you mean like that door? Okay. Wait! Oh, shit. No! <laughs> I pressed escape. I was trying to get back out to the thing. Okay, cool. At least we didn't lose much progress. Alright. That, <laughs> that was my bad. I was like, okay, I'm gonna press escape to leave because that's like the... Hush, 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 hush. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was straight up trying to just leave. Wait! I can't leave. Yeah, I thought escape was the button to, uh... Exit the cameras, but I guess not. <laughs> A little misunderstanding, I suppose. Hey, Simon. What's up? I couldn't reach Mark. I called him multiple times, but no answer. So unfortunately, you have to go in there yourself. Okay? What's wrong? The new animatronic models are acting very strangely and aggressively as described by our customers. Can you check on them? I don't want to use the older models. They're old and outdated technology, and they just don't live up to this day. All right, I'll be there in five. Great, good luck. All right, uh, is this a flashback? I I'm guessing it is, because <laughs> why would it happen after the back? Oh, this actually looks way better. Hello. Huh, strange. Usually the animatronics are deactivated. I'll take a look in the employee's room. Alright, let's go. I su Yeah, this is the employee's room, right? Aunt. Oh, I must have left the keys in the office. Alright. <laughs> Man, I wish there was like a... Um, classic FNAF-styled game like this. Set in this, like, similar location. Alright, where is this key at? It's there. Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> it was hiding from me on the desk. Alright, go back here. I am kind of curious, actually. Can I actually go to these other areas? So I am a bit intrigued. Huh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem like much is here, though. 
can't go in there. Ooh. That's an odd shadow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whose shadow that is, but that's somebody's shadow. Kind of looked like Foxy, but also could have been like Fredbear or something. Alright. That's pretty much all I wanted to do. <laughs> Everything looks in order. I'm not sure what's wrong. I guess I'll manually turn them off and take a look. Alright. What was that? I thought I was here all by myself. Nah, must be my imagination. <laughs> Mate, what? Why wouldn't you go check that all out? Alright, Freddy. We're gonna have to sleep now. Hey. Huh? <laughs> Bro, what? Is that one punch man? Wow. <laughs> he just got absolutely pummeled by a random man. That's probably who they were talking about earlier. Fast. Wait, what about my phone? Oh, fuck, it's out of battery. Of course. <laughs> I think Chris had his phone on when he... Yeah, that's out of the question. Quick into Maybe the fence. Try and find a way to open the exit door. But how? I could break it down or somehow find a key. I'm gonna look around. <laughs> Speaking of a key, okay, this could be useful. We. I did not see what it was for. Hello. I'm not sure if anybody's active. Anybody here? Does not look like it. Alright. <laughs> Make sure not to press escape again. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I like how we have to go into the bathroom. Taking this with me and getting the hell out of here. Shit, he's coming this way. Oh god. Hold your breath. Um and steady <laughs> wins the race. Exactly. Okay, we good. Bruh. This man legit opened the door right as it sounded like it was still there. What the fuck Pardon. was that? That is a patent and I'm getting out of here. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I was going to say, he opened the door right as, like, they passed back. It's like, you could have easily Whoa. died. Alright, quick, to the door. Hold on, I actually want to listen to this. What do I like about Fred Bear and Friends? Bro! You got the music, the game, actually, the pizza, oh <laughs> Actually, okay, never mind. Nah. Alright, <laughs> let's try this. Yes! I'm getting it! Bruh! Shit, 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 fuck, fuck, shit! Bro, keep your voice down. It's gonna hear you. If you weren't screaming like a madman a second ago, Foxy probably wouldn't have chased you in here. <laughs> That's just a fair assumption. Now will I say that it would have worked 100% of the time? No. Oh. Well oh, that sounded brutal. Oh, shit! The door, where is it? it it's gone. Where the fuck did it go? I, I don't know. Oh, it's just... gone! Oh god. You stay away! 
Get away from me! Oh. What the? Am I crazy? Crazy. I'm so fucking dumb with this place. <laughs> crazy. What do I do now? Wait, what about the other exit? Fuck. Oh god, go. <laughs> I was about to do the bit of like crazy. I was crazy once. Oh god. The fucking door's gone here too. How does that happen? I I don't know. Aren't oh you? god. That must have came from somewhere around the office. I have to get there fast. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Ah, oh, come on, Freddy, really? Mans is blocking the way. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the office and then we'll probably end uh, the video. Alright, probably should wait until Chica gets farther away, but... It's whatever. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, she's going that direction. So we're gonna sneak by this way quickly. And voila. <laughs> Wassam. Okay. Vent is... Oh, wait. It's a cutscene. Uh, he hello? Is anybody there? Bro, we... <laughs> We got you baited. Hello? I thought I, I thought I heard a scream. I don't know. We do a mild Maybe amount of trolling. Whoever Foxy chased down. Who was it? Maybe he had something useful. Maybe I should check back in the employees' room. Maybe so. Oh. <laughs> Another flashback. <laughs> You're in timeout. <laughs> Stay here until I get Why back. Hey. Really, Dave? You know exactly what happened before. <laughs> Man, just fucking kill that dude. You know what happened to Mark, right? I know that fucker's out there, but son of a bitch made it out alive. When he goes out there and spreads the word, we are fucked. We'll be sent to prison, or worse, get the chair. We can't let him go. <laughs> hey, you know what? Fuck this. I'll just do it myself. Well, uh, hey, look, I'll give you $500. Nothing <laughs> personal, man. It's just business. Ah, uh, shady business, but fine. <laughs> you win. I'm keeping my 500 though. All right, what's the objective? Check the employee's room. All right, I guess let's go do that, shall we? Real quick. Hello, anybody in here? Oh, Jesus. Um. Oh, fuck. That's disgusting. Yeah, it was, a, it was a police officer. Wait, does he have a radio on him? Uh, shit! Those things know what they're doing. Come on, come on, think, think, think. Oh, the, the police will probably notice his disappearance. I have to stay alive until they hopefully arrive. Where did the- wait, where did he come from, exactly? I just realized that. Oh. Wait, that was just a prologue? Bruh. Okay. That's very interesting, I didn't even notice that. I really hope they find me. The animatronics get more and more ag agile with each hour. Alright. Actually, let's get a jump scare, shall we? I kind of want one from uh, Spring Bonnie. Depends on if you can find him. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the devil. 
Well then. That was actually not that bad of a jump scare. <laughs> Keep distance from Spring Bonnie. Otherwise, it's an instant game over. Bruh, can I get a crowbar and just hit him across the kneecaps? <laughs> Something, please. I, I guess not. That's fair. All right. Um, I really hope they find me. Same. I swear, I thought there was like a way to cheese the game by like standing right here. I, I could be wrong. Maybe right here. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Anywho, that this will wrap up today's video, I suppose, on Fred Brown and Friends reboot. Now, if you want to see me come back to this game and pick up where we left off, let me know down below and I'll be more than happy to come back and continue from where we left off here. Um, but until then though, this has been your Captain Speaking. I hope you have enjoyed, at least to some extent. And if you did, I hope to catch y'all around in the next one. Until then though, stay chaotic, and but not too chaotic though. And uh, yeah, bye bye.